Call of Duty points are now in Infinite Warfare. If you want the best way to get free Call of Duty points, click the link down in the description, install the app, and start getting yourself some free Call of Duty points today. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a gun that is my favorite gun, or was my favorite gun, and still is my favorite gun in this game. It might be the best gun of the game, and before K-Bar up there, but this one is a sleeper one that I don't know why more people don't use this thing. It's still a monster and it's always been a monster. So hopefully you guys will enjoy today's video. If you guys could all slap a like on this thing, man, hit that like button, smash that like button, break your phone screen. Well, don't do that, but hit that button. Let's go for 1500 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, of course, and let's get right into this. Now, this gun is the raw LMG. This thing was so overpowered at the start of the game that like a week or two into the game, they nerfed this thing but it still is dominant all they did in the nerf is they added a little bit of recoil on it but if you look at this thing it literally has no recoil maybe it'll bounce up and down a tiny bit this gun is an absolute monster and that's why i have to say more people should be using this gun and i need to be using this even more now it is better than the nv4 in specific ways and i would compare it to the nv4 except it's an lmg so of course you're not going to have to reload you're going to it's going to be more reliable because you're going to have so many bullets in it now one thing that you needs to be key what i'm going to do here is talk for a few minutes then you guys will see me do a gameplay with it one thing that's key here is when you use this gun i think this is a reason why a lot of people don't understand how good this gun is or how good any of the lmgs are you have to use man at arms under the merc combat rig because man at arms gives you that super high stock of ammo which is great for lmgs and also allows you to move at full speed with an LMG so you're moving as if you have your fists out or you have a shotgun or an SMG while you have an LMG and I think that's where a lot of people mess up is they try out these LMGs but they're not using that Merc combat rig and they're not using mana arms as the trait so they're like these LMGs are so slow paced I don't really have good movement with them and I don't really like it and that's where I think a lot of people mess up now why I love this gun is for one you use that eliminates the complete LMG problem you have no problems with the movement this thing can be played like an SMG up close if you play medium range however you want to do it other thing is you don't have to worry about reloading because one this thing if you use the right variant or like i use the rare variant it has 84 bullets in it um but i think it even i think it might even have like a lot of bullets even like 70 or something like that with other variants or eight or 75 or something you basically have a lot of ammo right it's an lmg i'm not even using extended mags if you extend a mags you're probably up over 100 this thing you you don't have to worry about reloading so by doing that is well i guess you do have to reload every once once in a while but it you just slow it down take a second and reload however the reasons why you don't have to reload very often is because your your clip or your magazine is so large and this one is an auto energy LMG, which is, is so broken if you think about it. It auto regenerates ammo. You never have to reload with this gun because it's just going to be auto generating ammo. It's absolutely insane in that way, how it you know does the ammo up and up. And also you don't have to run dexterity because you don't have to worry about reloading. I reload maybe three, four times a game, not even, not a life per game. That's how broken it is. So instead of using dexterity, which is a perk that I will run on pretty much all my AR and SMG, classes that frees up another perk slot which i still run two perk ones so i'll run ghost and then i can either run recon or blast shield depending on the map if it's a smaller map or you know an objective game mode you're going to want to run blast shield however if you want to use recon maybe for free for all i'd probably say recon would be better it frees up so many different slots by using this gun. And of course, the number one thing is it just absolutely melts people. The iron sights are super nice on this thing. And honestly, I'm going to use this gun a ton more because I sort of forgot about how broken this thing was because the NV4 and the K-Bar and the Volk and all those ones are still so good. These LMGs are freaking awesome. More specifically, the raw LMG is going to be a gun that I'm going to use this gun so much. I'm going to try to make it, you know, my most killed gun. I think my, my gun with the most kills right now is nv4 and i think it's pretty much nv4 for most people i want you guys to leave me in the comment section down below what gun do you guys have the most kills with I have the most with the NV4, I believe, but Raw is definitely in that top five, and it should be for every single person. I'm interested to see. I think most people's are going to be with the K-Bar, 
or with the NV4. Maybe we'll get a few ERAD or, um, uh, you know, ERAD or UMP players or SMG players. But I want to know if any of you guys actually have your top kills with an LMG. Major props to you. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to be reading through all the comments and seeing what guns you guys are really messing with. And, you know, other underrated guns and stuff like that. This thing is definitely underrated to those who don't know about it. Those that do know about it. Kind of been keeping it a secret and been spamming this thing out. Definitely try it out, everyone. And uh, if you have, if you've, you know, stop, if you're like me or you're using it at the start, but you stop using it, or if you've never used this, so overpowered. Drop a like on this thing, guys. Hope you guys will enjoy my gameplay with this. Raw LMG is an awesome gun. Enjoy the gameplay, guys, and have a great night. All right, what is up, guys? We're playing here with the Raw. I'm actually using like a rare variant here because this one has extra ammo and it also gives me. Oh my gosh. It also gives me, um, what does it give me? Uh, headshots reload my ammo. Or headshots. Oh my gosh, this is an awesome rush route. There's more. There's one behind me. Oh man, I couldn't get them. There's like one behind me. There's one everywhere. But headshots also reload my ammo instantly. This gun is a monster, dude. And I don't know why everyone doesn't use this gun. I'm sure, it was nerfed like once, but. Oh my gosh, sniper in the back. Whenever you see that blue dot, it's so scary to rush because there's always a sniper at the back. Um, but this gun is a monster, dude. Close range, long range. Because of the use of mana arms, I love this thing. And uh, this, dude, pre sick I'm not going to lie, probably might be my favorite map in the game. I, th I, th I like Scorch. Is that guy out of the map? Oh my gosh. There's that one got one more. Oh my gosh, I have to reload, but... Oh, there's more on the mini-map. Holy crap, Warden. I just got a Warden just off that. Let's reload, and then let's call in this Warden right away. Might as well. Um, we're one, two kills off Advanced UAV. This is, that was so lucky. Like, holy crap. Let's rush here. Might as well just use this to make sure we get myself um, the Advanced UAV. Let's pop it right now, and rush. Oh gosh. He's over here. Come on. I need one more kill. Oh my gosh. Okay, sweet. Okay, got him. My Advanced UAV got... My Warden got me the Advanced UAV. That'll work. Holy crap. I was about to reload and then the guy popped out of nowhere. I guess he had Ghost or something? I don't know. But here we go. I love when they spawn over this area. This is the area where you can just like... It's like a free spawn trap. It's like when they're trapped in B at Genesis. It feels like they have nowhere to go because they either have to walk out that way or the other way. And if you watch both ways, it's just free kills. And this place, too. Dude, I, I love this map because of how, like, the spawns are so confined. Look at this. This guy spawns right here. Easy kill. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what the heck? Oh, wow. I, I thought he was shooting the teammate, but he ended up getting me. That was so dumb. Um, anyway, this map is awesome. The, a throwback is... There's a lot of good maps in this game. I'm not going to lie. There we go. Oh, they're all... Oh, no. Oh, no. This over to my left. Should be one... Yeah. Oh, wow. Teammate stole my kill there. That would have been UAV. I still got a free two-piece. They're spawning back all over on that other side. Push this way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Dude. What the hell? What? They're walking right by me. Somehow I'm still alive there. I saw all I saw was like a camel guy went by me. I thought I just assumed I was gonna die, but I somehow survived. And now we're on a decent streak again. This guy's just laying prone. They're spawning back in this quadrant here. Oh my! Okay, nice warden. Nice. Ten more points. Where are they? They're doing... What? Dude, how was that guy? Behind me with a fucking axe? I don't know how he was there. I guess just ghost. Because I gotta remember, UAV doesn't pick up ghosts. It's only the uh, advance that does that. Or only the specific. Or actually, no, all the advance do that. Warden goes dumb on this map usually. Yeah, I've been using the Warden uh, with like a, like a no variant on it. And it's been doing a lot better for me than um, any of the variants. I don't know. what like I use a variant on the UAV. Warden variants kind of suck though. They must be spawning around. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Nice. They've got to be spawning over here, according. Yep. 
According to the map, I was like, oh my gosh, they have to be spawned in here. They're all literally ghost users. I'll just reload and run over to the other side of the map, I guess. They're flipping. Oh my gosh. I'm going to run out of, uh, out of time here. Maybe we can get one or two more. Axe guy. Oh, there we go. What was the score line? It was 48 to 5. Pretty good there. Um, you know, just some normal slaying out on some infinite warfare. This gun is just too good, man. It's such a consistent gun. Be sure to check it out. Drop a like, guys. Sub for a cookie and don't looky, boys.